Okay. Um, I apologize for my bald head and my glasses on. This guy is still crying about his uh, dead Billy. But uh, I just got off work. I literally just got off work. And I had to record a video for today, so I wanted to get it done early. So I didn't get clean at all. Like, my shirt is nasty. I learned how to weld today at work, which was cool. I have I took a picture of the one weld I did. It was a piece of half-inch all-thread, and I welded it to a piece of uh, angle iron. This is what it looks like. If you can even see it. Hold on. Here. I did a few. Oh, I, I made like this. I don't know if you've ever been in a sea container before. But like. Or a connex, whatever you want to call it. It has these like hooks up in the top. For hanging stuff, I guess. And supporting things in, in the sea container. And uh, I made a coat rack thing I took a piece of angle iron and then I made these hooks that come up and it hooks into those hooks on the top of the sea container and then I put two pieces of all thread out to act as the the uh, coat rack part because we have like a bunch of straps in our connex and I wanted something to hang it on and the way I made it is where you can take it off and then put it on to another set of hooks in the sea container if you want to if you want to move it if it's in the way it's like removable but yeah I'm like fucking nasty my hands are all nasty shit I feel gross sitting in my chair but I want to record this so uh, I think my fiance just got him so my dog's barking really loud but let's go into the supply plant apparently I was looking up weapons sorry I keep rambling uh, I looked up weapons for this DLC because I missed all of those weapons in Mothership Zeta so I don't want to do that in this so I looked them up and there's one in here in the back apparently I think it's the man opener holy shit my dog is loud I wonder if this is an exit, I bet. I wonder if this place is huge. I don't know if I'm sitting too close to the computer or not. There's radiation in here. Why does this thing disappear? This thing's awesome. What does I put this thing? <laughs> Whatever. Turret control. And I, I kind of just like click through these. These. My voice cracked. Separated. Target data cleared. Exercise caution. This thing's just like bugged. Is this gonna break out from my feet? We're only getting one, oh, two rads. Okay. He said thank you when I killed him. Oh, so it was the wild man. Oop, I took that on accident. I don't want a baseball glove. 
my guy, you're covering my ingot. You get so many, like, uh, oh my God, I don't die. notifications whenever you hurt people with this thing. Oh my god, I don't want to die. You're not hurting me, so I'm not going to hurt you. Now I'm, I saw those ingots in here. Now I'm afraid I'm going to miss them. I honestly forgot about that. I'm like really cautious with the DLCs now because like I said, Mothership Zeta. And I feel bad because ADG told me to um, be real careful looking for the the voice recordings on Mothership Zeta. And I, I should have been more careful, but now I can't get them. Because I, I had no idea that you couldn't go back into the place. Or back through the ship at the end. That's which sucks. For some reason, we only get radiation in here. Get one. So glitched. Fledgling. I can hear him munching on something. Oh, depending. I don't know what reconfigure means. I guess it just means it won't shoot me. And I also don't disable them. Or deactivate them, whatever. Uh, will this, like, trap me in here? Oh, you can actually... What? <laughs> what the heck? Why can't you do that? I, there's gotta be some ingots in one of those carts. Somewhere. I'm not even going to look at how many I have. Oh, that's another thing. I looked up those weapons. If you give... It's mostly giving these ingots to that guy when you walk out.
the guy when we walked out into the steel yard how he said if if you give me the ingots I'll slip you something your oh get slip something your way or something like that. It's a pitching machine. Oh yeah, we have limited bobby pins. Regulates. Just picking the right ones. Run maintenance routine. Ooh, he has a hard hat on with a light on it. Go maintenance man. Hell, this place is huge. Flamer fuel, gamma shield armor. Is that just metal armor? How can I pick this guy up? Oh my god. I can't pick him up, but the armor doesn't look too oppressing. Oh my god, this guy's huge. Wasting my ammo with a thirty two pistol. Wait, isn't no Warren is the cool one. It's a black bottom. So we have a 10 millimeter pistol now, but not a lot of ammo in it. But what do we need ammo for when we have this thing? Oh, I didn't even see these. I also just thought that was a prop. That's not good. Probably did that already. How much ten millimeter ammo do we have? Eight. Thirty seven flame or fuel. Feel bad because you're a baby. Fell in his teeth. Damn it, you're covering the Bobby pins up. That cigarette. Oh. 
guy likes to smoke. A lot. Why is there so much 32 ammo? Oh. Why am I taking that? Whoa. Regarding new protectrons. There have been several complaints in the past couple of weeks regarding the new factory protectrons installed throughout the plant. Some of you feel this is the first step in the long process of phasing out the human aspect of the plant. Please be assured that this is not our intention. The new protectrons are here only to protect you, the workers. Also, please remember to carry your ID with you at all times. The protectrons are programmed to make sure these present and the plant are valid employees. Those present in the plant are valid employees. Regarding recent incident. Those employees who recently took it upon themselves to inca incapacitate a protectron with a bucket of water and sledgehammer have been dealt with and no longer work at the plant. Let this be a reminder to all employees. Those caught harassing and or damaging factory protectrons will be dealt with swiftly and severely. Management. Regarding new shipment. We've ordered three new protectrons to be installed immediately in the plant. One will take the place of the recent protectron that was destroyed by our very own employees who, let me remind you, are now ex-employees. The other two will take their positions of working on the assembly line management. Private entry number one. I brought it up with management today that the men down at the plant aren't taking the new shipment of robots lightly. They fear losing their jobs and I don't blame them. It's my job to make sure morale stays high no matter what happens. It's hard to teach to each man it what? It's hard to look each man in the eye and tell him that he has nothing to worry about, even though I very well know he'll be unemployed in less than a month. I don't know how long I can continue to lie to these men. Tom McMullen. Tom, Tom McMullen, supply plant supervisor. Private entry number two. Whoops. I managed to delay a rather large shipment of protectrons today. I told management that we've been having problems with the previous batch of robots and are not prepared for another batch anytime soon. This is complete bullshit, of course. The robots work perfectly. They outperform our best worker by a factor of five. The men continue to lose morale day after day. Some blame me, but they don't understand that this is completely out of my hands. I'm doing everything I can to help these men keep their jobs. Tom McMullen. Holy shit. Just realized all my hair is burnt off on my arm. And my eyebrows aren't gone. Tom McMullen, supply plant supervisor. Private entry number three. Management made a super <laughs> Management made a surprise visit to the plant today. I guess they stopped believing what I've been telling them about the robots not performing to standards. They saw firsthand the speed and efficiency of the robots. Unfortunately, they also caught two employees in the act of tearing apart a protectron and smashing it with a sledgehammer. I was to blame, of course. The men are starting to believe I'm working closely with the managers and helping them in every way possible to save my own skin. Tom McMullen, Supply Plant Supervisor. Private entry number four. News broke out today over the loudspeakers that everyone needs to vacate the plant by 1 p.m. Due to budget cuts, this plant is shutting down. Quote unquote. The men knew at once there was no budget cut. They ultimately decided I was to blame. Having seniority in this section of the plant, as soon as I heard the news, I grabbed my pistol and made for the exit. 
It was quickly barricaded. I turned around and ran into the utility closet and locked the door behind me. I'll stay in here until the men go home. Tom McMullen Supply Plant. Private entry number five. The men won't leave. They're determined to wait until I come out. Probably going to give me one hell of a beating. That I'm sure of. I wish they understood how hard I worked for them. How I used every opportunity to delay the inevitable. They better get going though. It's almost 1pm. The robots will be in here here in half an hour. Sooner if management hears of what's happening. Tom McMullen, supply plant supervisor. I begged them to leave before the robots got here. They laughed and said they'd take care of the robots. It's me they wanted. Then came the familiar rattle of Protectron. They got their attention. I soon heard laughter, cursing, and screaming down the hall. I opened the door and stepped outside. A couple of workers burst around the corner, screaming for help. A red laser lashed out from down the hall and severed Tim's right arm in two. My God. I panicked and ran back into the closet and shut the door. The men slammed into the door and begged me to open it. I didn't say a word, just sat stunned, listening to their screams of agony as the robot finished them off one by one. Then silence. I put my ear to the door and listened. I heard the clanking of a protectron feet down the hall. I grabbed my pistol and backed away from the door. No way am I opening this door for anyone or anything. Whoever reads this, let it be known that I did everything in my power to keep every, everyone's job at the plant. And let this be an example of how not to replace humans with machines. Tom McMullen, Supply Plant Supervisor. Wow. Poor, uh... Tom and Tim. So these are the people that were banging on their door, on his door to get in. You probably killed one of the people. I wonder if we can find a skeleton missing his arm. That was a uh, really sad poor Tom. He did all he could do. Move along, please. It's a big ass water fountain. Stop picking up junk. I'm not gonna be able to carry it all. What the? Is this after the bombs? This was set up. Oh, there it is. The man opener. Dog meat. Why is there so much flamer fuel? Damn it, I'm not looking for them. I need to look for those. I hope I didn't miss any. Why is there so much jet in here? What's the point? Oh, 
Yeah, why? <laughs> had a base. Oh, had a I had baseball going on in here. That's cool. Yeah, that's the pitcher. Huh. What the hell? They just walk up and start eating shit. Custom fans in here too. Oh, we're at the exit. Now we got the man opener. Currently does less damage than our auto axe. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Guess I'll I'll know. I guess I'll know if uh, I miss anything if I don't have a hundred ingots. I think the only way to go is up to here. Is up. The only way to go is up. What's that here for? <laughs> Billy. Wild man. Really? The steel yard's huge. Can't get that. There's a shotgun in there, too. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to go, but whatever. With a shotgun. Why does everything look so dark? It's only two. Why is it so dark in out here? to hide some. Is there any 
electrical switches on these things. Nope. Okay. Just cut his legs off. Oh shit. This is all the pit is? Holy cow, this is tiny. So far, I don't think I've missed any. The way I've gone. I feel like I'm checking things thoroughly. something though. Let's go back. Reset. Oh. Oh, never mind. So, we were here. Or, uh, can we jump up on that roof? Actually, they want you up here. Oh, God damn it! I should probably just go the correct way. Yeah, let's just go the correct way. So we would have went this way. There's an intact like generator or whatever that is. that. Let's walk down. No, not that way. Oh god, I don't know where to go first. Hello. Let's go. We went back there. Let's go up here. Pistol. Or a Chinese pistol, actually. I think they shoot 10 millimeter on this, so there's more ammo. It's up there. Oh, it's right there. Is he taking care of business? care of business. I guess I got everything up here. Alright, I'm not going that way yet. Stick to this wall. The guy probably thinks I'm dead. Because it was like, grab 10 and come back. Hello. I could easily get over there. Just jump up on the top of the fence. Like right there, you could do it. Easy. I guess we'll see if we can get in there or not. Because there's probably places where you have to climb up high and then fall down. Like, look. I guarantee you have to be up on top of that pipe to get on top of this. Or 
Maybe you could just jump across right there. Jump up behind me and it's gonna piss out of me. A grenade. All right, stay on this level. Let's go back. Let's go down. I remember this part being radiated down here. I only get one rad. Hey, can you come here so I can kill you? Get two right here. Fuck, I got a butter knife again. I'm getting three now. As long as we don't miss any. Getting one again. Still getting one. Oh, let's take some rat away. Okay, so we met up back with that area. Sadly, there is no. I'm not going up there yet. Let's go, uh, what, I didn't close that. Let's get on top of here. to get up here. Four. Why? <laughs> Are these flames just here for the aesthetic? Nothing up here. I grabbed those already, so we got everything. There's a floating piece of wood right there. I think we got everything up here. So let's go jump on this garbage can thing. Of course, this fucking jump didn't work. Why does it do that? Yes, you're like supposed to be up there to get in there. Oh my god. What the fool?
This job isn't bad at all if you have an auto axe. Like, what the hell's the big, big deal? Like, even in person, in real life? Like, I understand that that would be fucking creepy for these trog things to be running at you. But, like, all they do, it seems like, is scratch you. Which I guess you would get, like, an infection if you got scratched by them. Yeah, you can't even get up here anyway. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get up there. Because it looks kind of boring. How do they want you to get in here? Climb up on... Oh, climb up on these. And then jump over. Gotcha. Where's this flame coming from? Just a random spot. Of course that happened. Okay, now where? Let's go up here, I guess. Let's <coughs> go. Wild Bill and his sidearm. Dude, from Wild Bill. I'm not gonna make it, Millie. I'm sorry. I knew everyone thought I, I could do it, but they don't know what's out here. It's not just Trogs, but others. The Wild Men. Kind of funny considering my nickname, Wild Bill. Back at the mill. Finding the ingots wasn't the hard part. They're everywhere. The problem was trying to make my way back to the mill. My trusty sidearm came in handy more than once. But I soon found myself in more trouble than I could handle. The gunfire alerted the Wild Men. And I assume it's only a matter of time before they find me. I'm sorry for letting everyone down at the mill. Let everyone know I tried my hardest. Bye. So we got... You can repair that with that. I don't know if I want to do that. Unless the auto axe is not a special weapon. Even if... I don't know. Unless we get a second one, I'm not going to repair that. So, we have the man opener. Check. And we got Wild Bill's sidearm. Uh, where is it at? Right there. I like think it's just a 32 pistol, but it does 19 damage. Which is pretty good, I think, for a 32 pistol. Look how cool it is. It's like a break barrel, it's cool. I like, I like to reload on these. Break barrels are awesome. Let's wear Wild Bill's head wrap. This thing breaks fast. So we should probably take his. Alright, uh. I'm going and because uh, I, I guarantee that's where you're supposed to go. So we're going to go up on top of this building first. Okay, I got a big ass forehead and fallout too. It's just like real life. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Okay, I guess we're not going up this way. So I guess we got everything down here in this area. Maybe. Probably missed something somewhere. I'd rather wear my clothes... The clothes, you, the underwear you get. <laughs> You're like a full shirt and shorts.
Or I guess it would be like briefs. Alright, let's go. Sorry, Wild Bill. I think it Millie is someone in the mill that we're supposed to talk to. Does 20 damage total. That's really shit. Holy shit, a hunting rifle. Yes. Tacos are done. <laughs> Who's there? Someone. Oh my god, this place is huge. There's the Chinese pistol guy. Oh, there's a second floor. Mines? What do I need mines for? I'm gonna be over and cucumbered when I'm done. And I get all my stuff back. Can we see any ingots from here? get on top of there. Ingot. Iron ingot. down. I'm going to shoot you in the head. No. We have a cool gun now. Steel ingot, not iron. really thinking you could oh, oh. oh god if I, if I go down slightly too much I'll fall off the roof can you go in there no <laughs> it's just empty other side This it's like a whole tunnel. They could have put some in here. Look, at, I got to where I wanted to go, but there's nothing back here. It's funny that that's just completely empty. I feel like I'm like going really slow, but I don't care because I'm not missing anything again. nothing down that way. We could possibly walk on that. 
but it doesn't look like it leads anywhere anyway. I don't know if there's anything on the other side of that roof. Because we could check. Maybe we'll be able to see it from up here. Nope. It's blocked off. That looks suspicious. Oh. oh, man. I wasn't expecting that to hurt me. Whoa. Really? <laughs> well, we can't go up there. Uh, just to check, I'm going to get on that roof. Or it'll bother me. Break my leg. Break him. Nope. Can I do it? Ugh, no, of course not. I'm just gonna load here. So we didn't miss anything. Anger. What are you going to do with your Chinese pistol? Don't joke about killing me. You're like one of the raiders. The raiders back at the Capital Wasteland are way harder than you guys. Oh, I've already been down there. Can we find Blue Side Park? Oh, that's why I'm so visible. Why have my flashlight on? Because this raises, I mean, not that it matters anymore, but this raises your agility. They got they gotta be up there. Call the doctor. I think I would die from that. I could do the save glitch where when you're falling and save and it doesn't take any damage. But I highly doubt there's not anything up here. Yeah. I'm limping. Then we can get in this spot we're not supposed to be. There's an eyeball down here. You're like... We're not even supposed... Oh my god, what? Well, now I gotta stay. I gotta run back up. There's 
So does that mean there's potential for ingots being up here? Is an auto axis, just a regular one. We got some secret, secret, secret ones. What is it? Why is this block off? Oh, hello. I actually hit him. Get away from me. Hurt, I think, a lot. Oh god. You definitely hurt me, I bet. Oh god, it's jamming. <laughs> SS. Is it jamming? Yes, yeah, jamming. So, we have an auto axe now, but might as well just... Well, hold on, I didn't even look. I don't think the auto axe is a special weapon. It would have been near man opener, I think. Or not. Yeah, I think the auto axe is just the basic one, so... 54 damage. Like a bunch of dog meat. Alright, let's see if we can cheat the system. No, you cannot. Oh, well, maybe you can. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Yeah, I don't think you, they allow you. If I can walk on this, then I could. Oh my god, what the fuck? I just need to... There we go. Yeah, like, they have, like, it blocked off. I don't think there's any reason to go up there. So, now we gotta walk the whole way back. Up. Well, at least we got that. I don't think I missed anything over here. Yeah, okay. So, everything down low, I think we've gotten so far. Possibly. Yeah. We can't even get in the pit underground, so... That's whatever. Wild thing. Why can I not pick up... I can't... Okay. I think something's glitching. I don't know. I'll... I'll go back up. And... Probably, it's been an hour, so I'll stop recording, and then it, it when I get back on, it should fix itself. It's probably doing that glitch where all the Vault Boy, like, sprite card thingy, I don't know what, what you call it, <laughs> or all the Vault Boy body parts is up on the loading screen when you go in and out of a door. I think it's doing that right now. If we can't look in this person's inventory, then yes. Oh, never mind. I don't know why we couldn't look in theirs. Okay, so I think we have everything so far. 
I really don't want to look at my ingots yet. I just want to see if I can get all 100 without looking. What the fuck? Why do you have a grenade? Oh. Please don't throw that. Damn it. I was reloading. I couldn't. She had a bad day. Little did she know I'm a sharpshooter. Oh god! Ugh. I just walked... Either walked through... The railing, or... I don't even know. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Save. Oh, I hope I can get out. Okay, good. Go find Blue Slide Park. If there's like some extra ones out here, wouldn't that be funny? Still solid. The walls are solid. We could use that as a way to get back in, probably. Oh, we were down there. Yeah, we could, like, easily get back in. Oh, there's a wall here. To keep you from going this way. Oh, God, come on. Oh, let me up. Surprisingly, everything's solid. Uh, I don't want to F5. It'd be so funny if they actually put something out here. Is this just for looks? Down here? I think either way we can get back up. Here's that spot I was trying to jump to. Oh, we can't even... They put an invisible wall. The whole way it stretched across. Can you open this? No. Oh. Fucking... Weird ass fallout movement. <laughs> they don't want you in here either. I mean, obviously, I guess. Meow. Like where I am on the map. It goes a ways. This is another bridge. Can we walk over to that bridge? Well, we know we can easily get out. Because you can just walk on this. These really basic ass looking brick buildings. 
It's like Minecraft house. Your first Minecraft house. We're actually almost done in here. I can walk to that bridge. Oh, we definitely can. But it doesn't matter because we're in like a... We're not in... We're like in an area. We're not actually in this area. So that bridge won't even be looted in anyway. What the heck they got going on here? Testing out the train tools. that Dark Souls is over there where am I oh god this is creepy <laughs> can we walk through it probably we can't that's weird yeah Okay, I don't know why I'm still doing this. I'm just gonna load. <laughs> oh, oops. I almost walked back out. Okay. Uh, in the next episode, we will climb up the very top of this. And collect all the ingots, hopefully. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I see you in the next episode.